Hey everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to do hopefully a beautiful pour today. I did one that was a few videos ago called Royalty Takes Flight and it was kind of peacock colors with metallics. And I so loved it that I wanted to try to almost achieve the same effect. But I'm going to also throw in two more colors. So who knows what it will turn out like. <laughs> I might should leave well enough alone. These are all deco art. And I will start with showing you I'm mixing up some peacock teal in my cup here. Everything is a one-to-one -one ratio, flow trial to paint. And then pretty much deco art is about the right consistency where you don't need to add water to it. Maybe sometimes with the premium tubes, they're a little bit thicker, or sometimes the metallics, but not always. So it's always key to do the one-to-one -one ratio and then the water to be the variable for depending on the thickness of the paint, but you want to pour off your stick like warm honey and I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> I've got true blue here. This is dioxazine purple. This is the lovely, lovely vintage brass, which I am out of it. I used what was left in the container. These are Deco Art Americana Decor, and this is Metallics. This is Vintage Brass. They were out of this, so I got the Outdoor Living. It's called Brass. It's not Vintage Brass. So there's just a slight variation. This one is a little bit warmer looking. It's got a little bit more orange cast to it or warmth to it. It's not quite as shimmery as the Vintage Brass. The Vintage Brass is the one that is really, really shimmery. But I had some of that and I combined some of this in with it. So that is in that cup there. And this is a little bit of paint I had left over from another pour. It's mostly quinacridone violet, but I pumped it up a bit, but it's, that's what's in here. I've got lamp black in a squeeze bottle. The copper I had some left from the other day and it was a lighter copper. This is extreme sheen which is a very red copper. So I mixed it in with the other so it's kind of like the color of a copper penny. A little bit deeper even. So that's going to be pretty great. Then this color here is the Rich Espresso, which is a brownish bronze color, but it's called Rich Espresso Metallics. I love it. And then I've got this Peller Gold, which is closer to a glorious gold. It's just a Peller version, and it's not as shimmery as the Vintage Brass. But I wanted to make sure and have plenty of metallics, because I love the metallics. This deep royal purple color a little bit of that blue. Then I mixed up also this color I mixed together. It's a little bit of like a phthalo green and blue and a little bit of Prussian blue added to it to deepen it. So it's kind of like a really dark teal color. So this is the new color that I'm adding into this one that I was not in the other painting. And then I have, you know, a little bit of this violet color, which I did not have in the other painting, but I'm going to finish this up and put it in this one. So that takes care of all that. I'm going to show you how I mix the paint. I do a one-to-one -one ratio, so I just eyeball it. I look from the side of the cup, and if I've got, you know, four ounces of paint, I use four ounces of Floetrol but it doesn't have to be exact. It just needs to be close. Some people use more Floetrol than they do paint. Like they do a one part paint to two parts Floetrol. I just like to keep it one on one. I feel like the color stays stronger. 
So I'm just pleased with the one-to-one -one ratio and it's easy to remember. That's key as well. So this should be play pretty much the consistency that you want. You want it to pour off the stick in a steady stream, which it is. And when it hits the surface of the paint, it doesn't stay in a mound. It kind of sinks down pretty quickly. So I'm just making sure all my edges, all the flow trawl on the edges is mixed in with my paint. You always make sure to get your edges all mixed in. I've got one little clump on the end there. And I had some older that I had mixed up that's several days old. It even looks a little bit deeper, but I'm pretty sure it's the same color. And then I have my OGX that I put in a little dropper bottle. Just, just want one good drop of OGX and that is all. And that would be the OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. The main ingredient, the first ingredient in it is dimethicone. And that is what you're looking for is to have that dimethicone. That's the secret magical ingredient. It's not a secret. It's just the magical ingredient. So there's my colors. I have an eight, 18 by 18 inch canvas here. Push pins on the bottom. And I'm going to Put the colors in the cup and it's for the most part I think I'm going to do a dirty pour but I may try to get the layers a little bit to lay on top of each other just a little bit and if they sink down that's fine too. I kind of want it to be a mixture of dirty pour to, to gradient and then when I pour it on here I'm going to do an open tree ring. A tree ring is when you pour it in the center and it makes those tiny little patterns of like a tree ring. So you totally put a tree ring pour in the middle. Well, with an open, what I call an open tree ring pour, I'm going to pour it in circles, but I'm going to go larger as I start. So that'll be the difference. And I'm going to need at least 14 ounces of paint. And these cups are, I think, 16 ounces. So I'm going to fill it up pretty, pretty well. So I'm going to start with the black, which is stopped up. Okay, so I'm going to start with the black. And I may, I may go like through the colors a couple of times, but a good amount of turquoise. And I'm going to put this deeper, vivid turquoise in. So it's kind of going in like a dirty pour. And then the rich espresso. Purple. That turquoise is really coming through. This violet is super thick. The brass. Copper. Blue. I'm running out of space. Purple. I don't even think I'm going to use that gold. So I got a full cup here. I got lots of paint for several paintings here actually. So 
So I'm going to do a large one first and like I said I'm going to pour in the center like a tree ring but I'm going to open the tree ring up so it just uh, doesn't all land in the center. So here we go. And this has OGX in it so there will be cells. So I'm letting it sit, just letting the cells do its thing. I can heat it. That will pop bubbles, but it doesn't really help with the cell formation. The cells kind of do their own thing. Okay, so I've let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. So I'm ready to tilt. I dripped over my edge of my liner here. I'm just wiping that up. I'm not crazy about this area here. Because of this shape. There's an area you don't like, you can always adjust. So I'm trying to decide. Just which way I want to take it. I like that, that where the turquoise pops through. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to try to just actually take this swipe
So the copper really came out on this one instead of the gold, which is okay. I'm going to put some of this pale gold. Get a little of this violet on my finger. Maybe um, a hint of the turquoise. A little copper on my finger. And then take some of this brass. Beautiful drips, though. Beautiful drips. So I don't care for that pale gold. So I'm just going to kind of run some rich espresso through it. Swipe some copper through, hey. And I'm just trying to make it look more irregular so it's not planned. So just kind of squiggling my... I like it. It's beautiful. It's not like the other one that I did at all. But I also added in the royal... the fuchsia violet color. The copper is a stronger copper and it, it really popped through. And I have that little punch of the uh, that th thalo turquoisey green, which I like. So I think I'm done with it. The shimmer is really pretty. Beautiful drips, beautiful. So now I want to do one more pour. I'm going to end this video though. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to get prepared for the next video. And I hope you enjoyed it. It's always fun to watch people come up with different color combinations and techniques. On that one, I wish I hadn't gone in the rings, and I wish uh, I maybe would have used a little less copper, but I, the copper is just beautiful anyway, so that's not a bad thing. But um, every pour, you learn something different. You like something more than you did before, or you like it less one way or the other. It doesn't make it bad. It's just a different combination. So. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to check out all the links below the video. And make sure if you're a subscriber, make sure you've clicked on the bell at the bottom right. It Make sure it has the little uh, symbols on either side. To, that means you get notifications when I post a new video, just to make sure that you get notified. And there are the Amazon link recommendation, the PayPal, Patreon, my Facebook group, if you haven't joined, come over and join us there. We have a great group of about 8,000 people. And not 8,000 people post, but a lot of people share their paintings with me. And I get to you know, see what people are doing. So come join me on Facebook. It's in the link below my video. 
So y'all have a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.